The rise of social media usage in today's age is one of the direct links to negative body image. In recent study, Facebook was found guilty for making body image issues worse for one in every three teen girls. Studies also show that working out is one of the healthiest ways to improve body image. Why do you work out? Um, to look better for myself. Um, it makes me feel good. It helps a lot with like my mental health. I like being active. I don't know. I think it it helps me give me something to do, and that's important to me. And do you think social media has any influence on why you work out? You can't go to Instagram without seeing like somebody else's post, you know, showing off their body, which like good for them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like it's hard not to compare yourself and then be like, oh, like what do I need to do in the gym like to get to that point? Body image is a big thing in the social media world, especially among African American women. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I do try to look better for myself, but I will say that social media does play a role in how I view myself. Approximately 80% of U.S. women and 34% of U.S. men don't like how they look. 50% of all Americans are unsatisfied with their current body weight. And if you don't mind telling us, how tall are you and how much do you weigh? Okay, I am 5'6 and I weigh 143. Um, I'm 5'6 and I'm 160 pounds. Uh, 6 foot and I weigh like 170. Body image is a big problem in our society and can lead to depression, social anxiety, and eating disorders. Yes, I'm Taylor Goodlow. Um, I'm 22 years old. I work out, one, because I really just want to be in shape. I like the idea that I can like sculpt and shape my body how I want. And then I work out because it's honestly like therapy. Like I have anxiety. And so a really good way to help calm my nerves is to, like I said, almost exert all that energy into like lifting heavy or just even cardio. Social media can cause unrealistic expectations of how your body should look and can lead to unhealthy eating behaviors and disorders. If everybody was on the same workout plan, the same, the same diet, would everybody look the same? Social media, kind of gives you the idea that like if you work out you're supposed to have this particular figure or shape that you see a lot of like fitness influencers have um, but it's just not realistic. I think genetics gonna play a big role into it. You take me and somebody else that person may have a better genetics than I have. We can eat the same, we can work out the same but they may look better than me. You use social media to look at other women and aspire to be them but like in a positive light like oh they're going to the gym every day they're working on themselves like for me that's a positive influence but sometimes if you think about it negatively and you compare yourself too much to them it can be really negative so social media is like it helps to motivate you but it can't be your soul like um like influence of what you should look like in 2020, surgeons performed 40,000 butt augmentation procedures called Brazilian butt lifts, or BBLs. This increased the procedure's number to 90.3% between 2015 and 2019. I feel like it's a society thing. Social media is, is an, it's an influence again. You know, Cardi B or, you know, a lot of these celebrities have BBLs so they look good and people look up to celebrities. You know, the body image aspect of it, you know, I want to be slim, I want to be toned, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I compare myself to other people, I think like pretty much everyone else does. If a lot of women promoted natural bodies and that was big on social media and that was the trend, then a lot of women would go natural. It's just about, you know, that person trying to be like the next person. But if you got a lot of women promoting BBLs and it's the quicker route, big butts, and the way social media works today, then a lot of people are gonna go that route. When people exercise, they develop a better body image even with little to no change in their physical appearance. Like other people need to see somebody working out and trying their best and not being, not looking like the typical fit person, I guess. You know, stomach not snatched, arms not slim and toned. But I'm pushing, I'm benching, my numbers are, my waist going up, you know? So I feel like it's a, it's a realistic thing for other people to see. I would say don't let social media dictate how you view like uh, fitness, but just do it yourself.